Hey guys, I had to make an ACS Radical here. So, let's talk video games, shall we? Everybody likes video games, unless you're a politician, in which case it's the most evil thing in the world, but I digress. So, I was reading an article on Kotaku today that was talking about how apparently there is a wave of female players that are jumping onto Fortnite since the mobile app got brought into play. And apparently a lot of guys are pissed off. So... I felt like it was about the right time to bring up a topic that has been almost a war for the last 20 years in the gaming industry and in, in just in gaming in general. And that's honestly the fact that apparently there is a problem that is to be had when it comes with girls playing video games. So let's approach this from two different sides. So on the first side, I want to talk the perspective from guys when it comes to girls encroaching, and I'm using this in quotations, encroaching onto their turf. So, to make this as simple as I fucking possibly can, you can already tell that this is a bit of a sensitive subject for me. If you are a guy, if you are a guy, and you have a problem with a girl playing the same game that you are playing. Get the fuck over it. It is quite simple. You do not get to decide whether a person can play the same thing that you want or not. It goes back to this whole fucking gatekeeping bullshit that has been going on in every piece of fictional entertainment out there. Whether it's books, whether it's Dungeons and Dragons, tabletop games, board games, video games, anime, TV shows, films, all of that shit. It has always been something that is being gatekeeped by whether it does, whether it's guys or girls, whether it's adults or kids, whether it's anybody. Race, gender, age, creed, whatever the fuck it is, stop. Fucking stop. I can't make it any clearer than that. From someone who has had a very small supply of female friends when it comes to my online gaming experience, let me fucking tell you how much it drives me crazy that there is just that, a short list. And a lot of them, I rarely, if at all, ever heard their voice. I played so many games on Xbox 360, on Xbox Live, and I had a number of players on my friends list that were female. And I remember being in, in different clans and communities. And I would hear that, you know, oh yeah, no, this person. And they, I mean, they would use she and they would like, because they knew the person personally. And I never would hear their voice. Because as it was explained to me, they were afraid to speak. They were afraid to, to make any sort of sound on their microphone because they knew it was going to be, it was going to lead to attention. So there's that. Again. Guys, when you play a game on Xbox Live, when you play a game on PSN, Nintendo, PC, whatever the fuck, this isn't Tinder. This isn't fucking Reddit casual encounters going on. Like, for fuck's sakes, this isn't the place to be suddenly hitting on girls just because, you know, oh my god, a girl plays Call of Duty, oh my god, I have to try to get her to suck my dick because, oh my god, this might be my last chance. Fucking, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with anybody that takes this this sort of action? It's like it's like reading the subreddit of Nice Guys, where it's just some of the creepiest fucking shit you've ever seen. It's like, what the hell, man? And I still have the standpoint that I don't think women are treated nearly as badly as they claim, but whenever you see stuff like this, it's like, what the fuck, man? You're making people like me who are trying to fight for the fact that this is not as big an issue as it is, and you're making me fucking look like an idiot. So guys, like, what is the deal? What What's the fucking problem? At the end of the day, if you're, if you're a single guy and you're trying to find girls, why the hell are you trying to gatekeep them? Why are you trying to push them out? And why are you trying to creep them the fuck out? Don't you want girls to be a part of the hobby that you're into because it gives you something to have common ground on? Considering we have this fucking ridiculous 
daydream picture in our heads of what girls normally are and they're into barbies and they're listening to pop music and they're and they're fawning over like their 10,000 different posters of Justin Bieber on the wall and all this other shit but they could never dare watch anime or play video games or Dungeons and Dragons or possibly like Star Wars or be interested in Marvel comic books or anything like that no no that's crazy girls could never be into something like that what the hell is wrong with you how can you not understand this it's so, it's so ridiculous. It's in the same way that there are guys that happen to like girl stuff. They're like traditionally girl stuff. There are guys that happen to be interested in the color pink. There are guys that happen to be interested in fucking sex in the city and all this other things. But no, the second that a girl thinks, oh, I'm really interested in playing Final Fantasy. And you're like, what? No, that can't be true. No, no, there, she's she's got to be trying to get attention or something. What? My first thought when a girl is is saying, "Oh, dude, I, like Final Fantasy, like eight is my favorite Final Fantasy of all time." My first thought is, "Well, I mean, Final Fantasy is not exactly the best one, but I digress." Second thought is, "Fuck, man, like." Not only are you taking, like, the not approach of taking the most obvious game out there, like Final Fantasy VII, and suddenly lotting that up, you're you're going out there and, like, being like, dude, like, you're actually into, like, stuff that most people don't talk about. Like, okay, that's that's really fucking cool. I want to... I want to hang out with you and kind of see what the hell's going on. At the same time, I'm not going to be messaging her every five seconds being like, hey, 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 you're pretty. Hey. It's like, fuck, man, like... Have you ever thought of just talking to a girl when you're playing online the same way you would talk to any of the guys that you hang out with? I have a number of friends in my Destiny community, and now we're on to Monster Hunter. I do not talk to these women any differently than I would talk to the guys. I still make the same stupid jokes. I still have the same opinions on things. My vocabulary and my tone of voice does not fucking change just because the gender of the person I am talking to changes. And besides, newsflash, most of these people that you're trying to quote-unquote get attention from are living thousands of miles away from you. So what the hell do you think you're going to do? You think this is somebody living two minutes down the road from you? No, it's fucking not. It's somebody living in different states, different provinces, different fucking countries, hell, even different fucking continents. So at the end of the day, guys, knock it the fuck off. Stop being creepy, stop gatekeeping, and for fuck's sakes... Women playing video games is not encroaching on any fucking turf that you have. They are just as welcome to the media, just as welcome to the hobby, and just as welcome to the community as anybody fucking else. So stop. Now, on the flip side, when it comes to this overwhelming parade of, oh my god, I'm being harassed, or whatever from girls when it comes to especially fucking writers. Let me bring another newsflash to you. You wanted equality, so guess what happens when you're online? You get shit talked to. You get bullied around by a bunch of fucking retards that have had too many drinks that night, or that afternoon for that matter, because they're fucking retarded. And that's what they do. Stop acting. Please, for the love of God, stop acting like it's just women that get faced with these things. By the way, studies have been done on online harassment. Men get 55% of all harassment. It is not women that get the majority of it. Men actually face the majority of online harassment. Not to mention that most harassment when it comes to violence and death threats tend to be men. Now, if we want to talk about the sexual harassment stuff, yes, that is absolutely 100% true that women online face it a hell of a lot more than men. Well, let's be honest, most men look like shit. So that's pretty easy. But at the end of the day, can we please stop acting like all of a sudden that the video game industry, that the video game environment is one of the most dangerous places for a woman to be in? It is not. For the love of God, can we stop over-exaggerating these things? Can we stop over-analyzing these things? Can we just at the end of the day say, this is what the community is right now. Let's actually focus on just stopping the online harassment, period, and not focus on a single group. Here's an interesting idea. Let's just try to end it all instead of trying to just say, oh, women need to be treated better. No, everybody needs to be treated better. Pretty fucking straightforward if you ask me. 
you know, as a guy who has been part of this, part of this community for such a long time, I have been a gamer for as long as I can remember. And I have had people come and go. People of different colors, people of different genders, all sorts. And at the end of the day, it's a community of people just playing video games. It's nothing more. If you want to act like it's this violent battlefield that we are waging war on, you're so misguided in what you're trying to do. You're trying to work a frenzy. You're trying to create protests that don't need to be done. You know, I understand. I understand that this happens. I understand that women get some real fucking creepy shit. Women have to deal with a lot of crap. But guess what? Men also get a lot of fucking creepy shit. Men get a lot of violent shit, as I've said in, in studies that have been done. Men get it just as much. The only problem is, is you're not looking past it. You are completely biased in your approach, and you want to create a topic that, quite honestly, needs to be changed. The conversation shouldn't be that we need to try to fix gaming so that women can be m more invited into this community. No, what we need to be doing is we need to get people to stop being a bunch of fucking retards, stop being a bunch of fucking assholes, and invite everybody into the community. Because as far as I'm concerned, the community is toxic no matter who is in it. Now, if we're talking a single case, in this specific case, but going back to what the article was that started at all, the fact that people were saying that, oh, well, Fortnite is now ruined because women are playing it. To put it as simply as it can be, I 100% agree that that is a stupid statement. 100 fucking percent. The fact that a game can be ruined by a single gender is insane. And it's not even the fact that it's like a feminist regime that's trying to shut down Fortnite. No, it's just girls playing Fortnite because it's available on mobile. Who the fuck cares? No one cares. No one should care for that matter. So it is a stupid thing that there are apparently guys out there that, as far as, like, I saw some of the tweets that Kotaku showed. To me, my brain was going, you know what? That sounds like trolling to me. Because, again, it's they know it's going to get the reaction out of people. But if it really is true, and, and I have no reason to disbelieve that, it's just dumb. It is quite... Frankly, it's just dumb. If there really are people that are just saying that stupid shit and mean it, they're fucking idiots. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's indicative of a problem that actually exists. I don't think that it is a women-targeted like toxicity. It's just a toxic community in general. In so many different ways. It's not even just between gamer to gamer. Right now, the, the relationship between the industry and the community is ridiculously toxic itself. You know, the entire industry right now is a toxic environment. Whether it's EA pulling their stupid shit, whether it's games, you know, just getting pushed out the door and being repetitive and boring as shit, but they demand $80 for it. DLC being charged up the wazoo for something that used to just be a cheat code back in the day. There are so many things that we can talk about, aside from just the single thing that blah, 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 women are being treated unfairly in gaming. I don't give a crap, to be honest. I care about it in the same light that I should be caring about it in any other way. It does not need to be a story that is front page news and it does not need to be shoved down our throats like it is problem number one that needs to be solved. It is not problem number one. In fact, women being targeted is part of problem number one, but it has nothing to do with it in terms of being the prominent issue. The issue itself is that the community is toxic and we need to battle that. And that includes if you hear a woman or a woman, Jesus, my pronunciation. If you hear a woman being badgered online, you take that person to task. If it's in the same way that if they're bullying a guy, if they're bullying a kid, if they're bullying somebody because they're black, if they're bullying somebody because they're gay, if they're bullying somebody because they're trans, if they're bullying somebody because, quite frankly, they're a white male, you should be taking the shot regardless. So, stop. From all sides. Guys that are bullying women for no apparent reason because, you know, oh, they shouldn't be in my territory. If that really is a fucking thing, stop it. You are the biggest fucking retard on the planet if you are going down that road. But on the flip side, to all the gaming journalists out there that claim that this is some massive problem, to all the feminists that claim that this is some extreme problem that needs to be solved, stop. Look at the bigger picture and understand that this is not a female problem. This is a community-wide problem. So together, 
instead of just bitching about it, instead of just pointing fingers at the end of the day, you know what we should be doing? Fixing the fucking problem. Not screaming about it, not protesting over it, and not pointing the goddamn finger. Fix the problem. Be the change that you want to be and stop trying to expect people to do it for you. Get off your lazy ass and do something. In the same way that when I ever hear somebody being an asshole to somebody, I will fucking call them out on it. You need to do the same thing. Now get to fucking work and I will see you next time.